Well, I'll start with the fans and the, the marching chiefs. To, to have that atmosphere requires their participation. You know, the stadium can be nice, but you have to have people that want to be a part of this and engage. And I think that's the best atmosphere I've ever seen in a game that I've coached or played at this level. Uh, just awesome. You know, this started with the, the marching chiefs. My wife is a cheerleading coach here way back. And David and my wife would work together to choreograph some of the things that the band and the cheerleaders would do. So we go way back, but they, you know, they practice across the way. And then if they have lightning, they come over here and use the underneath concourse area. So I just finally asked if you guys would play the anthem and it kind of led into them coming over in the fall for the scrimmage. And that led to today, I never thought we'd have that many of them that were able to make it out. And like they were here at six o'clock. So just a really cool part of what makes Florida State so special. And then you go to the, the delivery of the goods. The players have to go out there and try to live up to the environment. And, and this team has responded in a lot of unique ways this season. But the response to, I think, everything going on around was as good as a response as you could ask for, and I've seen it in other tough losses and coming back and responding in a game or a tough inning. Um, just a really neat afternoon, evening here to watch this unfold. And you see guys blossoming before your eyes and becoming really unique players. And uh, I just can't say enough about the fans, the environment, and what the band and this whole day. To think people are climbing up the right field wall to try to get a look at this. I mean, you guys have been here a long time and watched a lot. I've, I don't think I've ever seen it. There's people climbing up the equipment in center field or the gate out there. I, it just, it's really neat. And I, I just hope we can continue to play. Our defense today was on point. The offense was, was obviously clean top to bottom. And, you know, there were sporadic moments of really sharp pitching. And John learned right out of the gate, like fastball was in the middle of the plate. In this setting, like it was electric. The guys were – amped up both sides, and you could tell that from the first couple pitches. Um, so he learned a lesson in it, but I thought he settled down and did fine, and then Army settled the game, and um, you know, Rowan's still trying to figure it out a little bit. There were flashes today, and Holtz got the breaking ball going, and uh, I just, I don't even know where to start offensively. The guys were just locked in. They were locked in, and really from the first at-bat of the game, until they were probably in the sixth. It wasn't, wasn't what we wanted, but geez, um, that's hard to do. And I'm proud of the way the guys handled this. And that, that environment's going to be special no matter what, but after how agonizing last year was at times, just to come back a year later and have something like that and, and sweep Florida and do what you're doing at this point, just how special does that feel? Well, I love to see the guys play at their highest personal level. If I know we can get that, you know, the team composition and the character building of the team and the camaraderie, it will find itself. All teams are unique, but it starts with those guys giving us the best versions of themselves. And sometimes that doesn't equate to winning all the time. Um, but when you see that type of game, to rewind the tape one year and how you felt walking out of here after some of these games, including with that team, who's really a good team, or a good, good team. It says a lot about the guys, the composition of the roster, trying to piece it together and put people in the right spots. I mean, that's, that's what we're charged with doing, and it, it was fun to watch it play out like that today, no doubt. Will you bring the band back? Was that a one-off? <laughs> well, they have other things that they have to do, and we talked, Dave and I talked about it a couple times. It, it, the NC State, like his graduation. So, um, I don't know if we can pull it off again this, this weekend. We, we talked about it, and then NC State might be tough. But after today, who, who knows? Like maybe, maybe we can do it again. I, I just thought they're such a neat part of Florida State, and the more you can include the unique pieces of our university into what's going on with the program, it just better's the program's brand. And that's what happened today. And I hope we got good footage, I'm sure we did, of what that felt like and looked like. And then to deliver the goods on top of it, 
as the really the cherry on top of the Sunday. So we'll we'll see if we can pull it off again. But that was that was a really nice piece, even if that's all we did. With, with somebody like James Tibbs, are you born with the ability to hit the ball that way to let the field, opposite field? Is, I mean, I know it's something you can hone a little bit. Are some people just blessed to have that kind of swing and power? Yeah, I mean, it's field? a it's a it's a talent, you know, and his pitch recognition and visual capabilities are clearly high level. So you combined some of those traits with the in-game ability to manage it as you're going through at bats. That's a whole nother dimension to it. And that's what separates really the ones that can consistently be elite at it and ones that have some similar physical characteristics but can't mentally string the at bat and the pitch decision together day in and day out and day in and day out. This game is a relentless challenge and there's highs and lows. Coping with being three for three, coping with being 0 for six, you have to manage all of that and keep an even keel, but have the intensity and the pitch by pitch management of the at bats. And he does it. He gets into a very good position to hit. He's strong, he's athletic, so he checks every box in terms of what elite hitters are capable of doing. Some of that, you know, people may never, I didn't have it. Like, I didn't have all those characteristics, and I know that. But, but he does, and he works at it, and he kind of stays on course with the at-bats. I don't see him get too high, too low. He just keeps grinding. Even though you're not always going to have the result you want, the result statistically may not match the result, like, with the approach and the swing decisions. You mentioned uh, Armstrong. He comes into the game, bases loaded, nobody out. It's still a close game at that point. Just how important was he to go and retire nine in a row? It was big, and you know you've got a few experienced guys. I don't know how many experienced this type of setting before, but you know he has. So when that game needed settling, we felt like we wanted to use him, and then we had a couple other guys, and then we wanted to start some of the other pitchers in a clean inning if we could do it. And it lined up where it made sense for Army at that point to settle the game. We don't want to necessarily hold people for like a late inning situation because you have to sometimes get to that. And today, snuffing it out a little bit might have allowed you to get to the point where you pushed it to a pretty sizable lead. So when you use them, um, in, in some respects, rely, revolves around like the experience and the trust level and who can do what in those situations. And he did a good job. How much of a, a weapon do you feel like Holtz's breaking ball has become now? It's really good. Uh, it's tremendous spin, hard. He's confident with it. Um, he's actually started to throw his fastball. At a, at a higher rate for strikes, and he's got a really good changeup. But man, it's a it's a weapon, and it lined up today that we got him in there. And I think I don't know if it's the first he had a little string of lefties that he got to face, which is a nice thing. But that breaking ball is so good, we need to evolve past him being like a left on left guy. And as he continues to ram that breaking ball in there, it's effective against both. The key is lately he's been in the zone with that and has shown his fastball pretty good too. You touched on it a little bit, but how, and there's a lot of stuff left to accomplish this season, obviously, including on the series this weekend. But for the guys that were here last year, that are here this year, to be able to experience tonight, how, how gratifying is that as a coach for them to be able to sing the fight song and celebrate like that, have a, have a win like that, a crowd like that? Yeah, you step back and look at what they did today and some of them that had a lot of growing pains last year, young, young group. Um, it's why you coach. You're trying to watch these guys play maybe better than they thought they could play. That's what I like. I like to watch guys overachieve. They have to work at it. They have to work in this weight room, in the cages, in the bullpen to get that. But that's the essence of why you do this. Can you move them along and push them to become the best versions of themselves? And in a lot of cases, they might do things that they weren't sure they could actually do when they set out on this journey.
coming in to, to play college baseball. And I saw that today, and it was really cool. Like, and I stepped back and watched them over there with the marching chiefs. You're like, man, the, this is why I do it. And they tasted themselves probably doing things that they didn't know they could do. But the energy and the environment, all of those things lined up, and their focus was second to none today. And it tells them a little bit, you're not always going to have that result, but the level of concentration and focus after a miserably tough trip back here to not get out of Boston and sit, then sit in Charlotte and wait, like, and get back here at 2.30 in the morning. Was that yesterday? Yeah. To watch them go out and do that, I don't know that I've ever seen it. And they played above themselves. Let's go two more for like 